שלום לכולם. כל הכבוד לכולם. So I'll, I'm switching to English, fortunately for me. <laughs> so uh, welcome to all of you. We are so excited that you're here. There are 500 people signed up for today. This is a very impressive turnout. So um, we'll tell you a little bit about my journey. When I was doing uh, my fellowship at Columbia about 18 years ago, uh, my attending physician said in passing on the, on the, on the hallway, he said, you know, uh, insulin actually causes plaque to grow in the blood vessels. And uh, it's also a, it's a growth hormone. If you want something to grow, you just inject insulin. And I was like, okay. And then we went to see a patient. And the patient uh, was, we we're prescribing four shots of insulin a day. And I was like, wow, something doesn't compute here. Something doesn't make sense. I just learned that insulin causes plaque growth and that's cardiovascular disease. And why am I prescribing insulin? But then um, I, I just sort of lived with that contradiction for many, many years, somewhere in the back of my head, until about four years ago. And um, I had heard from my friend Jessica Apple, who has an online low-carb magazine um, called The Sweet Life. And uh, she was telling me this for years, that low-carb is, is, uh, is the way to go. And I was listening, but not really internalizing what this really meant. And uh, then one day, I received on the same week, two patients sent me the Sarah Hallberg TED Talk, How to Reverse Diabetes by Ignoring the Guidelines. And I got a Jason Fung uh, blog from somebody else. It all happened the same week, so I was like, okay, something is here. I, I started waking up. I started reading. I started reading. All, I started reading all the guys that are here today. I started understanding that I, something was off. And what this meant was actually really scary for me, because if this is true, I had been practicing medicine, not, I guess, not incorrectly, but you know, not, not the way I should have been for the last 16 years, and that had a lot of implications for me. But you know, I, I, I gave this Hippocratic oath, and I have my responsibility to my patients, and I said, well, I got to change the way I practice medicine, and this is what I did, and so. By now, we've treated 700 patients in our clinic, learned a lot. <laughs> um, we're, we're still learning. The patients are always teaching us. Um, and um, our intention really is to reverse metabolic disease and diabetes. And most of the patients do fantastic. They do really, really great. But not all of them. A lot of them go back to their other doctors and their other doctors you know, raise concerns and make them doubt this path. And this causes a lot of uh, doubt in the patient and therefore it's very hard to follow a diet when you're conflicted about things. And this is really what led me to want to, more than anything, do this conference. Because what I really want to do is bring to you caregivers and to you patients the knowledge that I was able to gain, you know, four years ago, fortunately. So, um, because the literature really is out there, but we never have the opportunity to learn it in medical school or in any of the conferences that we go to the traditional medical conferences. So I wrote to Gary Tobbs, and I said, you know, I want to do this conference. And he said, great, lucky for us, he replied positively right away. And next thing I knew, he had invited a ton of other people to come. <laughs> and I was like, so excited. And I came running to my husband, and I said, this is gonna be amazing. We're gonna do this amazing conference. And he said, you're totally crazy. <laughs> and you know, these things are normally paid for by pharmaceutical companies, how are we gonna do this? And I said, we're gonna do it. And it uh, turned out that like a year and a half ago, I went to speak to a big food company because uh, I had this idea of doing this chocolate that didn't raise your sugar or your insulin levels. And I, and I was talking to the CEO very excitedly, and, passionately telling him how the food we're eating is making us sick. And he's like, well, you know, you sound exactly like our CFO. <laughs> and our CFO, Ariel Chitrit, um, said to me, we became very, very good friends and, uh, because he shares the passion with me to bring this message to Israel. And we, um, very shortly thereafter, he said, you know, don't worry, we're gonna make this happen one way or the other. And we built the NGO, uh, Metabolics, 
and we um, and we ve very soon thereafter people started donating, and uh, very generously the Sagol Network, um, one of the, our big donors, and many others who very much came forth and, and gave from themselves a, a lot. Meuchedet uh, and Ayal, the Israeli Diabetes Association, gave us their their stamp of approval, their legitimacy, which I think is very, very important. Um, and dozens of volunteers called and said, how can I help you get this together? And they've been working around the clock. In particular, I really want to thank from the bottom of my heart, Asaf Librati, and Milim, and Milim, Mike Davidson, and Liat Gelder. And I want to thank uh, Comptec for their uh, amazing goodwill and so many, so many details from the notebooks that you should have gotten uh, that, that are donations and, uh, and the chocolates I will eat tonight uh, made for by the COVID months, et cetera. There are just so, so many people that came together. We really need to get this message out there and we're doing it. And uh, Ariel, one, come up, I'd like you to say a few words. Thank you so much, Mariela, and thank you all for attending this very important conference today. Progress is the ability to dare to challenge the existing conventions in order to investigate, develop, and implement new paradigms that will help our society grow and improve. Progress is our mission as a society to bring prosperity to humanity. We live in a fascinating world today, a world full of innovation, opportunities, and hope, but also a world packed with threats, power abuse, and pain. In this world, metabolic diseases such as diabetes, heart and coronary disease, dementia, chronic inflammation, high blood pr pressure, fatty liver, and many others have become, sadly, the general. Is this the fate that awaits us? To live under the tolerated pain of a chronic disease for decades in a gradually declining quality of life over the years? These metabolic diseases are often a snowball that grows and leads to severe complications at the end of the road, heart attacks, Alzheimer's, strokes, cancer. There is no doubt that the environment in which we are living today has a significant negative contribution to the development of metabolic diseases. Living under chronic pressure, unhealthy food in large quantities all around the clock, chronic lack of sleep, sedentary life, obstruction of our circadian clocks, exposure to contaminated air, and so on. And as if this is not enough, we live as prisoners in our outdated paradigms regarding the source of our metabolic diseases and the way that we should treat them. The science and research in the past 50 years in the field of metabolism has progressed so significantly and our life environment has changed dramatically, but we currently choose to close our eyes and stick to the irrelevant paradigms. And in the meantime, the metabolic epidemic keeps growing every year. So the time has come to progress in our metabolic health understanding, to dare and question the existing paradigms, to explore and develop new paradigms, and to bring real improvement to our quality of life. The choice is ours and only ours. The Metabolics Association was established to bring into life a social movement of awareness, awareness to recent new science and research, awareness to different ways of treating metabolic diseases, awareness to the changing environment and its consequences, and to the purpose of changing and adjusting our lifestyle for the better. We at Metabolics dare to swim upstream whenever our healthy science-based doubt awakens. This conference is the first conference we are holding here in Israel, first of many. Not by chance, we chose to focus on one of the more controversial issues this time, the food that we eat. A topic that for many is not only a physiological need, 
but also constitutes an emotional, social, ideological, and even a religious dimension. We will focus, of course, on the relevant food for metabolic diseases, the low-carb diet and the ketogenic diet. In the next few days, we will examine these diets and their relevance for prevention and even reversal of metabolic diseases. Also, we examine different paradigms, old and new, about the implications that food has on our health. We are sure that at the end of this conference, you will get a new sense of awareness. Awareness that is backed by a lot of knowledge and understanding. Awareness that will serve you from here on in the decisions you make about your health and the choices that you make in your life. We wish you all an inspiring, illuminating, and a productive conference. Thank you.